Right, people, welcome back to my little old channel. Right, so today I've managed to turn the car around. I should have done that yesterday because it's now rainy, but we managed. So, what we're going to do today is cut this off, which is pretty simple. The hardest part is keeping this lip because it likes to rot all the way through. But we're going to remove the scuffle, clean this up. And uh, try to clean that up, tidy that up a bit better, so we can start getting ready for the new scuttle. I'm very tempted to remount the top of the A panel, but we'll see which we've got this off. We're getting there, people. We're getting there. Speed, time is of the essence. But what we do need to know is how far we're going to cut up the panel. Here's the new scuttle. It's a non-genuine part. So if we just drop that on there and we can put a rough reference right in there, yeah? Say five mil or so is below that where we'll chop it off roughly. If I can find my scribe. Yeah. So I'll put that there, mark it in that inner section, put that there, where we know it's going to go, mark it on that inner section, check, go about down a bit lower than that. Let's give us our mark, and now what we'll do is we're going to draw a line below. Yeah, so we're probably going to reach up off. Right there somewhere. Yeah. That way we've got, once this is off, the new panel will drop in and we'll scribe over the top and that gives us our joint. A little fan. Got a little fan on top of my burner. It's having a very vibrate day. Better. Here's the problem. Battered in the rust. And the screens. Just like all minis love to go around the screens. Right, so, I'll cut that off. What I'll do first of all, is just chop it rough, yeah? And I'll probably chop just along here, and that gives us the lip to work to. So I haven't got a spot well drill. I don't think I have, let me just have a look. No, but I might, leave it for now. Get it off, and we can always just drill through all the spot welds with a drill bit if we need to. Or I'll just grind off one of the two. We'll get to there when we get there, shall we? So, first of all, I've just tried my old flappy pad, these things, just to try and clean up the bottom of this. I'll tell you what, it worked quite well. So that's what's going to do that. I'll just use my battery grinder for the uh, removal of scuttle.
So alright people, that is cleaned up. This is a lot of discoloration this is, which is welcome out there. It's a lot better than it was, it still needs a clean clean. But now we're at the point where we need to start mocking up our new scuttle. So, scuttle. And by mocking up, I mean getting it in the right place, marking the side so we can make our final cuts. Right, so let's get a load of little clumps. So, these do never, ever fit well. We need to take more material off here. Both sides, I think. Yeah, I just trim a bit more off this joint. Just so didn't take off enough. You gotta follow the curve <coughs> because the windscreen still got a fit, hasn't it? Yeah. This will go to where you need it to be. You need to make sure the windscreen will fit. You can make a little adjustments with the grinder once it's in. Just to, you know. So that's lifted up, now it's clamped. That's basically where it needs to be. And then we'll pull this down once you've tapped that, yeah? I'll put a clamp in the middle. different clamp. <sighs> yeah, and then that's come down. Now we need to try and work out whether we're central. This car's not so bad because it's not going to have a steel front end on it. Not that I'm putting it on anyway. But it looks like it's in the middle. We're in line with that seam there. We're in line with that seam there. All I'm doing, sorry, a bit of a close up of me. This edge here is in line with now this seam. Yeah. See? And I'll be the same. It's hard to see because it's black. Yeah? So, <coughs> what I'll do now is drill some holes for some screws and then take everything off. Then all in there is going to be primed. I'm not going to put the undercaps back on here because it doesn't need them because there's no wings going on. So I'm just going to leave them like that. So, I need a drill. Some screws.
I don't really think this YouTube and stuff. What? Some of you still hanging around? Which I do appreciate. So from that, now... There's already a hole there. What I'll do. You know what? I'm not going to bother there because when we want to weld it, it's going to be in place anyway. It's only moving. It's eyelids, which bolted on. That's it. Job done. Next job. <coughs> so we're on now, and that's its final position. So we need a scribe, and then I'm going to scribe the car so we know where to cut off to make our join, yeah? Both sides. So now we just need to screw that back off. <coughs> We've got our cut points then. We can hold this. Boop, 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 boop. That really does need to chop down and touch. I think it's really big. What I might do is mark the back of that. Yeah? Enough as well when we get out. Right, wrap, wrap. The longest part of the job is cleaning up. Women know there. Right, <coughs> let's cut these. See you see how long See? So what I'm going to do is cut to the right hand side of that line, this side, yeah, and then just work up to it.
to knock off there. Maybe it was up close and use the back of the disc to bring it up. What will touch more of this? Right, so now we have a bit of a test fit. What I went and did is I got a die, an hammer, and just tried to knock some of them creases out of these corners. You look the best. Just a ball peen and a curved die. We'll have a look. And our joins are pretty close, what would you say? I think this just needs to be bent up slightly, like that. So, but hang on, when I, when I clamp there, it'll come up. And this one, a little bit off on that angle. Well, oh, I can live with that. Come down here. Just a touch there. All right, so now I've got a. This is a jiggery pokey, I call it. I see jiggery's on the one side and it pokes holes in the other. So basically, I take the panel back out and put it oh dear, all the way across. But what we'll do first, we'll take the panel off and then we're going to drop some primer all across here. If you don't know, bleed bare metal under the panel. There we go. If it, if it needs to, yeah? Right, people, that spot welded on. And I've just done a quick join across there. Join across there. These I need to trim back more and rim weld them. These are done. <coughs> so there we go, new scuttle. I'm going to prep all these so these will just get flatted off a little bit. Just enough to get in the rubber. And we'll prep that, prime that, re-prep that. And then it can go black. Right, people. Thanks for watching again. Here's a quick 
easy way. So now you know to change the call. It's pretty simple. Right then. Thanks for watching, people. See you later.